Hi everybody and welcome back to my five minute segment where I go through reviewing a series, a movie I just watched, and up to three trailers of films opening this week, October 21st, 2016. Let's start off with a series I tune in and out of constantly, The Walking Dead. Since it is Halloween and it, the season is here, it's all about zombies, 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 and more zombies. Need I say more? But it's not about the zombies, though... It's about the humanity and how we cope with survival. And it is a gloomy world if you look at it through the eyes of these survivors. It's a good show. I really can't say anything negative about it. But the fact is, is that I feel like it's a re repetitive cycle, season after season after season. I was definitely into the first two seasons and started watching when I had free time by the end of season three. Lots happens and I can't remember specifically or anything in particular and in which season but we're now in season seven and the premiere is actually this sunday so somebody is supposedly gonna die <laughs> and yes you can say it daryl is the man and he's the cool one and i really really hope it's not him so i recommend this series but it's not a must see the issue i have is that if you haven't seen it yet, you have almost six plus seasons to catch up with. And depending on how quickly you binge watch, you won't be caught up until season eight. And I can't guarantee anything interesting will actually happen right now because I think all the good stuff was actually in the first three seasons. Now, maybe you didn't know this, but last year, Fear the Walking Dead premiered and it supposedly takes place at the beginning of the zombie apocalypse. So maybe you can catch up on that one and get interested. Movie of the week is Don't Breathe. Once again, Halloween is here, and I hate, hate, hate gory films. This one is one of those movies that scary, gory films would turn me off, but this is not a scary, gory, bloody film. It's a straight-up thriller. When a group of youngsters rob houses in order to get out of Detroit to better a lifestyle, they decide that their last heist would be a blind man. Pretty harmless, right? Wrong. I thought it was interesting concept, an interesting concept, but it had a little bit of a twist in it. Nothing supernatural about it. Straight up thriller. And this is one of the movies that you watch with a group. Uh, I don't suggest that it's for theater consumption, though. I don't know. In theater this week and uh, October twenty first. Boo! A Maeda, Maeda, Halloween. I do not like lots of these types of movies, especially Tyler Perry's. But you gotta admit, he chugs along and he brings them out all the time and every now and then something looks good if it weren't for the fact that i dislike horror films i need a movie like this to see during halloween where everything will keep me up at night otherwise it looks like it has ghosts ghouls zombies killers and all the while maeda has to keep a mindful eye on a bunch of misbehaving teens typical maeda all right so yeah go see it if you don't want scary movies ouija I always knew we just were freaky as I used to play with them sometimes back home but this movie truly does scare me and that's just the trailer as a mother and daughter in 1967 add a new gimmick to their Ouija scam they accidentally invite an authentic evil spirit into their home yeah I'll only watch this with a group that can protect me for the following month Jack Reacher Never go back. So this is a sequel and I didn't see the first one, but based on the trailer, yeah, I would go watch this explosive film to get out of the Halloween gore. It's got Tom Cruise and Kobe Smulder, Agent Maria Hill from uh, Avengers. And um, yeah, Jack Reacher uncovers a government conspiracy to clear his name. Action, action, and more action Mission Impossible style. So yeah, I'd go watch that one. That's pretty easy. Simple. See you next week. Ciao. Why am I saying it in different languages?